Hey guys, Joster here, welcome back to the channel. So as many of you have requested, I'm going to share my own personal settings for gaming in HDR of this is a beautiful monitor. This is a Samsung G8 Older, also known as the G80 SD. So if you're interested in that, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and let's do this. All right guys, so I'm going to start with the Xbox Series X. I have everything already hooked up. Then I'm going to jump into the PS5 and also my PC. So let's go into TV and display options. Right here we can play at 4K, also 1440p, 1080p, 720p, but we're going to leave it in 4K. Also the refresh rate, 120 hertz and 60 hertz. We're going to leave it in 120 hertz, of course. 4K TV details, we have all the green check marks except for Dolby Vision. There's, uh, there's no Dolby Vision support on this monitor. And also no 4K uh, 24 hertz or 50 hertz. It doesn't really matter because we don't use that refresh right here. Let's go to video modes and we have auto low latency mode. Also VRR is supported, HDR, HDR 4K, HDR 10, I mean everything pretty much that we need is here. I already calibrated for HDR games. If you guys want to do that, this is great. It's going to help you a lot. So let's go right here. Next, I already did this, but I just wanted to show you that it is done properly. And there you go. All right, guys, so let's jump into the game bar. So to open up the game bar, we're going to press the play and pause button. Press it and hold it until that pops up. And there it is. Over here, we have more options. You can also see, for example, the FPS is 120 and it's changing all the time. HDR is on. VRR is on and then we're going to jump into more settings now notice right here that you can't change the game presets it's grayed out there's a reason for that I'm going to show you why that is happening so let's go into the game settings right here we have this is the actual game settings you you can see FreeSync Premium Pro is automatic Virtual Aim Pro basically all these options are also here the core lighting is turned on is in the back dynamic black equalizer is at zero game picture expert so now here we get to choose if we want to turn on hdr 10 plus gaming this is not hdr 10 plus this is regular hdr which is right here so basically this is hgig this monitor does support hdig it says in accordance with hdig guidance guideline optimal image quality is set for hdr games according to the contents brightness information so that way it's important for you to calibrate your Xbox before you get into this game. I have this one into basic. This is how you turn on HDRG. You can have it in advance, but it is really bright. I mean, this looks awful. I feel like they just add a lot more brightness or white throughout the whole screen. So everything looks washed out. So do not go for advanced. Just stick to basic. Also, if you turn this off, the whole picture also looks washed out. So I highly suggest to use this in basic. That's what you need to do. Let's go back over here and then let's go into the picture. Then this is game, uh, game on. Let's go into the expert settings. And then right here, brightness, I have it all the way up to 50. Some of you are going to be a little skeptical about this because I know that some people are scared about screen burn. So you can lower this. And I feel like the lowest I can go, it will be 40 because it still looks pretty bright. But I have it all the way to 50. I'm Honestly, I'm not scared about screen burn. But let's, for the sake of this video, let's just leave it into 40. It still looks fine. Contrast, I have this at 45. Sharpness, I do have this in uh, 10. And then color, it would normally is at 25, but I changed this to 35. And the reason is because I love vibrancy in my color. So if you like that, I have this one in 35. Let's go down here and then let's go to contrast enhancer. I have this one in low. If you turn this off, actually, I don't see any much of a difference. Oh, I, I actually do see it. So if you turn this off, the picture is going to be, it's going to get a little bit dimmer. You guys notice, but if you turn it off, you're going to get a little bit of more brightness in here. I'm going to leave it at low. Let's go to HDR tone mapping. I have this one in static. Don't go to active. It's going to be over bright. 
it's going to be the picture it looks super washed out so I suggest to leave it in static let's go right here color tone I have this one in natural I normally go for warm one yeah standard is too blue warm one actually looks kind of good but I feel like natural is the best option looks really nice so let's go down here I didn't mess around with this settings color space I have this one in native and the reason being is because native has this extra vibrancy in the colors let's change this to native and look how beautiful the foliage looks the colors just popped right here so this is up to you but I really like how native looks especially like I said especially in gaming I think it looks uh, beautiful so I'm just gonna leave it in native this is my favorite choice right here then right here peak brightness I do have peak brightness in high medium high yeah I feel like high you're gonna get the better peak brightness VRR control is off and that's it those are the settings that I'm using while I'm doing some gaming let's go back into the settings and then right here you have to turn off HGIG which is right here basic turn this off I wouldn't suggest that honestly I don't suggest it and now you see the option is available so now you can choose which gaming preset you want to use for example echo uh, looks terrible automatic yeah it looks too cool too blue standard same looks same as automatic RPG looks kind of dim RTS same FPS same sports looks a little warmer but not my not really my type original uh, original looks kind of like okay but everything looks it, it's not bright nothing pops so that's why I just want to go over here and then turn this on game HDR is off turn it into basic and voila this is frontiers of Pandora and this is one beautiful looking game look at that it is very colorful beautiful HDR and I also like how the, the colors pop this is what I like about a monitor or a TV I want my colors to pop especially when I'm doing gaming I want the colors to be a little bit not oversaturated but I want them to be more saturated than usual because it's a video game after all you know it's not realistic I want something that pops so this monitor does deliver those beautiful colors and I think it looks nice so, and here's shadow of the Tomb Raider look how beautiful this game looks I love the highlights this is what I like about all it is like colors look natural look balanced but highlights stand out even more because of the contrast and look at that very detailed beautiful colors everything pops especially in this scene you know it's kind of dark but at the same time you're able to see every little detail so yeah try those settings let me know what you think and also these settings work for everything you know if you're going to connect your PlayStation 5 these settings also works as a matter of fact let's try that right now let's go let's play a little bit of hell divers 2 right here on the playstation with these settings also this game looks amazing very colorful uh, this game also has a lot of dark scenes so you'll be able to see every little detail when you're playing hell divers oh my god good lord Oh, let's get out of here. <laughs> but yes, if you're playing on the Xbox or if you're playing on the PS5, this is going to work for you. Oh my God, what the hell? Man, I haven't played this game in a while. Oh, I hate those archers. I'm gonna pay for that. 
All right, guys, so now let's jump into PC gaming. And before I continue, I wanted to show you that G-Sync actually works in this monitor because some people are asking me that if G-Sync also works. So let's go into the NVIDIA control panel. And then I have here set up G-Sync. It says right here, enable settings for selected display. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync is compatible. So let me get closer to see if you guys can read that. G-Sync, it is compatible. I do have it enabled and I've been using it since day one. So yes, if you're worried about that, I do have a RTX 3070 video card. So I have G-Sync turned on and it works. All right guys, so here I am playing another beautiful game on PC. This is Shadow Warrior 2. And I noticed some of you guys, some people ask me, which game is this? This is Shadow Warrior 2. It came out years ago, maybe about five or six years ago. I'm surprised that some of you guys don't even know this game. It's so much fun. It's like a first person shooter, look at that. So it's a first person shooter. And also, you have a sword. So you get to kill someone with swords. You have special powers. This game is a lot of fun. But this is what actually was the first, very first game to utilize HDR right here on PC. So it was a big deal when it came out. I love this game. And I'm using the same HDR settings. As a matter of fact, let me show you because do a little bit of uh, some of the settings do change. So let's go over here. Let's press this button. And I do have the uh, game gender uh, option here. And I have this one in original. The reason is because I'm not using HGIG right here on PC. Also have the virtual point is off. Screen aspect ratio. You can actually change the aspect ratio if you want to. More settings. Let's go into more settings. And down below you guys can see the FPS. Right now it's like 170, 180. It's fluctuating between that. And also HDR is turned on. VRR is also on. So right here adaptive sync is on. That means that G-Sync, it is working on this computer and also in this display. So let's go picture expert. I, ha I have HDR game is off. Let me see what happens if I turn this on. Oh, it makes it a little bit darker. Actually, I have this one turned off because on PC is different. So everything else over here should be the same. Brightness, I have it at 50. So since I'm using a different port, these settings are going to be different. So I have 50 brightness, 50 in contrast. Shamus is at 10 colors. I do have it in 30. Let's go contrast enhancer. I have it in high. HDR tone mapping is static. Color tone natural. Color space native. Peak brightness is in high. And that is pretty much it. Those are the settings that I'm using. And look at that. This game still looks beautiful after all these years. What's going on over here, sir? Oh. Oh, I ran out of bullets on the... Uh... Pull out my sword. Man, this game is so much fun. You have to fight demons and stuff, <laughs> but uh, it's just fun. Like, these demons are huge. All right, guys, so that's it going to be this for this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. And if you have any other recommendation or maybe a specific game that you guys would like to see, let me know in the comments below. Maybe I can do something about that. Maybe not. But uh, yeah, those are the settings that I'm using. If you have something, different kind of settings, let me know in the comments below. Maybe we can share those too. All right. Thank you so much for stopping by, guys. I'm going to continue kicking some ass right here. I'm Jolster. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh my goodness.